Hello there guys, and welcome to some more Volters. Yes. Um, we left off with uh, the favors kind of go coming for us. Or was that a bit further in the past? Well, at any rate, we are at war on two fronts, essentially. With just one having um, active fights, or precisely here, over um, Grafias, which happens to also be the uh, Riftborn um, home planet. Now, I'm not sure if I'll be able to wipe them out, um, but uh, yeah, I should actually begin to uh, get more ships. Um, what I want to do, however, is also give exploration a shot because um, I might um, it might be worth uh, looking for the other um, people, the other uh, AI out there. Let's try to get these guys to befriend us. Um, although it will. <laughs> barely take four turns and it's not really necessary because we'll uh, jump over their planets um, I don't want my exploration ship to die so yeah we had colonized Izar because of the uh, ad antimatter we should also look at Jaya currently we're, we're getting six per turn that's not too shabby um, yeah these guys will stay here I'm umming a lot tonight because I usually record uh, at a different time, I assume. Or maybe it's just that kind of thing. So yeah, um, this will go past. These guys are also uh, pretty up to speed on their ships, actually. So we, let's just uh, let's try to throw an alliance their way. If they'll stop us from achieving victory... Like rain after drought, your presence we'll just uh, cancel it. I mean, the they will be um, actually inclined to give us this. Let's see if we can't uh, if we can't actually get some uh, research. We can also get the uh, thing that gives us wormholes, so yeah. Yes, this is good. This is good. Let's uh, throw it their way. The unfallen are happy to agree cool. to your proposal. We are now Alliance, and it's called Anti-Aggression Pact. We've an ancient world, its origin lost in the midst of time. Koya Hill's entire landmass is now one vast primeval forest. How long ago the unfallen rose from the gloomy, silent woodlands is uncertain, but most historians who have studied the species of the galaxy place them as one of the oldest. In the depths of the forest, a sense of timelessness reigns supreme, and it is said a fallen tree will lay undisturbed for millennia, its very fabric becoming another layer of the forest. The unfallen strive for little, content in their ageless world, but the stirrings of younger races across the galaxy has awoken something in Koyasil. Something ancient, mysterious, and powerful. Friendship with you brings peace to. Okay, so we might get them to help us against the Cravers, um, although they don't seem to be that strong. So the thing about it is that um, we haven't even looked at our victory conditions too much. We haven't given them a lot of thought now, and uh, you know, it's something to consider. But as I said, I don't particularly start playing something because of uh, I mean with the thought to win automatically I'd rather just you know um enjoy quote unquote so the point is um, when you join an alliance uh, the the requirements for victory increase and once you've obtained the, your um requirements you can actually quit the alliance which is kind of a douchey move but it's essentially one way of winning and uh hey if you can do it why not right so we sent the exploration ship 
out. Um, Brasia has um, the green thing. <clears throat> Quadrinix. Never actually managed to mine a lot of those. So, uh, yes. The siege is going well. Um, we have some improvements over there. And we are building ships in Javanus. That's uh, pretty cool. Okay, we're now cordial with uh, the Sisters of Mercy that are, you know, Sisters of Mercy someplace else. Um, we should completely get a uh, ship uh, commander, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm thinking. Yeah. Oriented towards attack, more weapon modules. Oriented towards support and defense. Let's go with attack and... Uh, I mean, since we're attacking them, let's go with uh, this uh, little fella. Where should we assign them? It. The thing. Let's actually assign here. Okay, let's uh, also take a look at the ship. I had completely forgot that we had another hero on the way. So I'm thinking let's definitely go with the Hellraiser torpedoes. Okay, so these will do 28. These will do 61. These will do 50. Okay, but the crit chance is 50%. So do I want less uh, damage but a higher critical chance? No. 76. 68. Okay, so these work. Improved fusion torpedoes. 79. Versus 61. Actually, these are better. So, yeah. We're gonna deck this ship out in, uh, in these. Do we want to, to just uh, put something uh, energy? related onto them I don't think so we could try to actually you know it would be a 540 556 yeah the swarm missiles are a bit uh, strange but let's uh, let's see let's use them okay for movement we're obviously going to use the Hyperium engine more movement points and uh, for defense we're currently using shields which we can totally improve right yeah let's go with uh, actually going against the paper we are going to be met with uh, a lot of armor so yes uh, health repair squadron flak evasion We don't want to increase the chance to be targeted. Probes would be nice. Let's uh, let's put probes. It's not the ideal ship. I'll say that much. Okay. Help the church survive this war. Who are you battling? Wait, you're in our alliance as well? Huh? When did this happen? We could rename it. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not quite sure how we can see our alliance. Not really. Um. No, I guess they, they just kind yes. of asked, uh... What sacrifice will you now? Kind of asked us to help them. Yeah, the problem is whoever it is you're fighting, um, 
it's pretty far. I don't imagine they sent an exploration ship to actually fight um, the Vodiani. The AI doesn't do a good job with uh, the Vodiani. I will say that much. I think we're going with the basic health. These don't help much, so yeah, let's go with the uh, fleet health and vision. Let's also look at her ship. So she's in kind of a balanced uh, fleet, which is all right. She's kind of running the same thing. Let's uh, def definitely... Okay, 61. Again, I did this last time, didn't I? Completely forgot about the fact that uh, she needs to be orbiting uh, one of our planets if I, you know, for that, for the upgrade to be available. We want increased vision range, um, minus 50% hostile treaty cost. And peaceful treaty cost and manpower refill rate. Yes, let's go with the manpower. Vision could have helped us, but uh, we're not doing particularly well with the manpower, so I'm thinking uh, that's going to help. I'm not going to recruit people um, off here. Ecstatic. Let's go with uh, the level 3 modernization. Modernization. It's not that difficult a word. Why am I not saying it correctly? I do not know. Mm -hmm. There goes, you will have to wait a bit. What can we do here on Virgo? We can colonize the Arctic. Yeah. It's always a good idea. We won't be getting the Trade Cleaning Bureau, but as we don't have uh, trade companies, it's not going to uh, matter a lot. So that's going to be all right. Um, how is our siege going? A bit slow. But uh, we'll get there. Now, if I was smart, this is going to be a problem. Oh, or not. If I was smart... I would send another fleet ahead to bomb another planet and lock down resources if I can, in a way. But, um... That's not how things will work. I'll go with the hull plating. No, 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 we're not gonna watch it. As nice as the ships look, um, let's not do that. I'm hoping uh, it'll be enough to lock them down. But they might surprise us. I should also cons really consider uh, starting to research some, uh, to, to build some stuff, because we're already researching the uh, technology, so that's, that's alright. Okay, Dorado. We don't need approval right now. Um, we, could, could, we could do with the Budokai Bunkers, I'm thinking. The point is, I might have to do Chain Gang to make sure, damn, let's build both and then go with the Bomber Carrier. I should actually consider doing an energy uh, variant. I don't know why I didn't do it. These are the guys that kind of busted us up. Um, we can't handle them at the moment. Unfortunately. Shoulders are on the shoulders of super giants. A distant stellar giant, about 80 times the size of an average star, has just gone supernova. Capitalizing on the media attention drawn by the event, a pacifist group within your empire has launched a campaign to bring home the fleets that were monitoring the event rather than leave them on patrol. 
We get some approval and some dust. And uh, the silly pacifists. Okay, we discovered the Vadiani homeworld. I'm still not really sure who they're being besieged by, but let's look at their fleets. Nothing to write home about. Hmm. Let's uh, let's try to initiate some kind of truce, right? Are they worthy? Eh. I mean, yeah. Yes. What sacrifice will you now ask of our faithful? Okay. Both you and the other player gain an incremental boost to your research. The longer the science agreement lasts, the better the boost. Yep. Do we have a science agreement with the trees? Your presence is agreeable to the unfallen. And the yeah, we do. Welcomes you. We do. That's uh, that's good. They don't have that much antimatter. I might want the titanium electroplating. And even the uh, ubiquitous survey. Yeah, this would have actually helped with the uh, initial ship XP. Let's see if we can't... Uh... Give them some stuff. And then have some dust. Not that much. They don't want the dust. Let's give them some dark glitter. Mm -hmm. 30. Or 10. 30. 50. It's a lot. And not the best negotiator. Okay, fine. Have that. The heart finds your. That means I should uh, totally give the ships another pass. Uh -huh. We were doing uh, industry, and uh... let's confirm that. Yeah, there's no need for that on Giovannis for happiness, as they are ecstatic. Those are pirates. Um, do yell. What can you uh, do yell for me? Sorry. <laughs> I uh, had to. Twenty turns is a bit excessive. Yeah, let's go with uh, Xenotourism. And we're getting the vision. That's uh, that's also pretty cool. We should really uh, care more about our population to look at to see if we can't min-max them, but uh, I'm feeling a bit lazy. I've been, fe I've been feeling a bit lazy in this... Uh, sense for a while so yeah we could get more uh we have a, t a ton of vaulters which should be fine if the cravers get to that point where they actually attack us a lot um i can't boost it since i need to create them and i don't think that's actually very uh doable Let's go with some remnant. Yeah. What can we build on Nakos? Let's look at that. They're fairly happy. Research cities, it might be. Emrigashi, it was a while. It has been a while since I looked at this. 
They'll probably take ages. 10 turns isn't long, isn't that long actually, um, but we should totally consider doing, uh, doing that. We found some more chow, or chow kicks, or chow six. Cool. We found the Harrow Shems as a minor civilization this time around, but they're pretty far away. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, I do want bonuses to my science. Um, uh, we had a ship here. Send them over to do say. I think uh, these needed to actually be upgraded as well. It's a bit of an upgrade. Undoubtedly. Okay, this is an enemy fleet going for Nakos. They're pretty, uh, pretty strong. I mean, if they're going for Dorado, I'm going to have an answer, um, in these dudes. Right? We'll have, a. Uh... We'll, we'll move our carrier if they uh, start bombing us. Yeah. They're having a golden age, so let's go with uh, the sustainable farms. How is this going? We have this on Duyel. Um, it's ferrying and a longship. Uh, do we have sp a spot? Most certainly we do have a spot for you. How is this? Getting there. Getting there. Virgo's out of uh, instruction again. So this is a science thingy. Let's do this. Or rather let's um, have an exoscience station and then do this. And we also have do say and do yell. Okay. Are we gonna ever turn this into a... Uh, not yet. Not yet. Uh, let's go with... Um, they're also ecstatic. Hot and sterile. Would that be a 50? This would be the better one right now. I forgot about Dackle. Well... A new battle tactic slot. Combining technologies for personnel transport and survivability has led to several advances in attack technologies. Troops can be brought more rapidly, brought more rapidly to combat wherever that is, wherever that is planetside or in space. Hmm. Because we got this uh, champions pod thing. We also have a higher amount of, uh, yeah, command points. It appears that an intergalactic congress of scientists has turned into a labor dispute. They have come under the, under the conclusion that their work is grossly underappreciated and plan to halt all experimental efforts until their wages improve, their lab equipment is upgraded, and their work rewarded more professionally. If we ignore, we'll gain industry and industrialists' uh, points. But I'm gonna go with the scientists, although uh, wartime would maybe suggest industrialists being the better option. Quite a science of this one. Uh, I think I did build the farms. Yeah, it's gonna take 52 turns. Okay, let's not do that. Uh, we'll go with the level 2 modernization and then, uh, yeah, this. Uh, no, never mind. Oh, 
Well, we have a lot of sterile, so let's go with this bonus. It's really more of a population uh, thing. I should actually send some people over to Dackel. Problem is, these dudes are prowling about. As a small attacker, yeah. Yeah, at this point I'm pretty sure that these dudes are headed towards Dorado. In which case, they're very energy bound, energy focused. And we are... Uh... We have... We should make easy, easy work of, of those of these dudes with our fleet how many one turn oh without a doubt okay let's merge these together hmm. okay i'm not sure if this is a a very good idea right off the bat it wasn't because uh, now the long ship is going to get here and it is going to be alone <laughs> Oh no. Yay, we are the sovereigns of uh, this. Do we need? Let's let's throw some uh Okay. Let's fund uh, development. We got some extra science production. Um so wartime would suggest getting into uh, extreme swarm missiles. Advanced Railgun would be nice. Although Adamantium, no, we're not that rich in Adamantium, but we will consider uh, buying some more. Now, I think I want a Shield Interference interference Beam. This is the new EMP. Uh, thing that came with the new DLC. The problem is, I'm not sure if uh, our army could properly accommodate that. Rotilla crew destruction. Survival suit. Improved uniform shielding. Let's go with survival suits. Uh, it's a it's a low level one, but I think we could uh, benefit from it. No, I I have no idea what why I picked that. I just I just know that I want that, and I am an uh, irrational leader this turn. So uh, that's going. We're we're going to go with that. Yes, quite. Maybe if we merge these together. <clears throat> now we should take these out easy, easy peasy now. Fight. Did not lose one ship, not one. Wait, didn't we want to uh, actually evac Pavo? Um, I, I don't quite remember. I'll have to consider that. Hmm. Not sure how much it helps. Uh, it's extra science, yes. More of their fleets. Okay, so they're kind of going the projectile route, and they have a lot of shields. We should uh, try to keep that in mind. I mean, it's curious that uh, the Cravers didn't ally, ally rather, with uh, the uh, the other dudes, the Born of the Rift. Yes. Well, your production, dude. Let's keep that. Uh, let's visit this and see whether or not we can purchase some um, adamantium. There are two. Okay. No antimatter, but a couple of or a chal six, and we can totally sell some stuff for uh, dust. But I think we're fine at the moment. 
we can uh, very nicely uh, transport our ships in one turn in between Duce and Dorado, which is really, really good. Uh, that's why I think, yeah, portals, especially on the border worlds, maybe in between the Empire you could make a case. I mean, inside the Empire, you could make a case for not making a portal. Although, really, if you can have, if you can keep, if you're up with dust, upkeep is fine. I see no reason why not. Uh, but on the borders, man, that's some pretty cool stuff. These guys have access to. Okay, so yeah, th these things, um, that, that's the annoying bit. So they want us to attack Nakar, which is logical. Um, we might consider doing that, or we might even look for this thing. No, not exactly the split second ablatives. That's a median coordinator. Um, not particularly sure what those are good for, but there was this tech, right? Cultural flexibility. Allows absorption of systems within your empire's influence area over time, only usable if you are at cold war or peace with the other empire. So that this would take three turns, and it wouldn't help us a lot now, because we're at war, right? But they are already in uh, our area of influence. So let's see if the Cravers won't want to chill. I don't think you can. I think we need to apply some of the... Oh no, they are applying a lot of... Uh... Okay, so we will have to pay a tribute uh -huh. if we do this. I'm not sure what the tribute is. So I'm going to maintain things as they are, okay? So, uh, let's go with shields. Did we lose anything? No, not particularly. Um, did this happen out there? Yeah. That's cool. Um, we will initiate uh, the, the ground battle soon enough. Soon enough. In due time. Do yell. Do yell. Why do you yell? Let's go with this. Although that's not really a must at the moment. Oh, uh, we'll see. I say that we'll see to a lot of things and then I never actually come back to them, do I? Don't I? Do I? Do do. Okay. Let's look at our longships. One hundred and twenty. One hundred and eighty-three. Don't mind if I do. Basic phase beam. That's a basic phase beam. Ah, uh, yeah. That's all right. Transformative shielding. Uniform shielding. Let's use this uh, this type of shield and this type of um, armor. Five, six, eight, ninety-six. Yeah, it's much better. Apply design. Let's also look at our longship energy. Yeah, they already have it. Although, this is this ain't much of an energy longship since <laughs> there's only one thing uh, that's energy, and the problem is if I do replace. Uh, it with the hell array. Oh, no. The damage drop isn't that large. Let's keep it this way, though, actually. Yeah. Okay. Our smaller ships should uh, also kind of benefit from uh, these uh, things. You're the protector. We won't use a lot of you. I favor attackers, I tend to do that. Um, 
We're kind of full projectile. So, uh, yeah, let's... Let's do you a bit of justice. Kinetic Enhancer. They won't do a lot of damage. And that's... That's kind of a fact. Okay. Build me a longship. And a normal longship. Estra. This was the beautiful planet with uh, the many, many things. Science sounds good, but we might have to resort to something like uh, air labor because um, yeah, it'll, it'll take a lot, but that's kind of assumed. Since I could boost it, I could terraform, right? But I don't think I want to do that just yet. Let's build that. Welcome to the Sophonity. Oh, we found the Sophons. Hello, Mr. Sophons. Reserved. No idea where I found them. Can't see their ships. I can only see Riftborn that are pretty far from home. Well, okay, let's uh, let's throw some of these. Around. Let's go down this lane. Aha, uh -huh. Nikad. That's the only place they want me to attack. We have two longships on Jovanus. Um, we could uh, very much do with some predictive logistics here. Very much so. Yes, yes. We should also colonize. Uh, Let's do that first, and uh, go for the logistics afterwards. Yeah, she is seeing a lot of action, so uh, she's getting a lot of uh, bonuses. I'll have to get the manpower uh, thingy, or I could get movement. This would be nice because we now have a, we have a bigger fleet now that she's leading. War was a mistake. We have only ever wanted peaceful. Rel no. War was not a mistake. The origin planet of the strange race known as the Bagaba, who are distribu who are distributed artificial intelligence, whose calculations are done by random movement of rocks, stones, and even grains of sand on them this atoll planet. The warming and cooling of natural ocean currents, coupled with tidal shifts and weather, turns these elements into a living series of gates and arrays. This in turn transforms the entirety of the planet into a giant computer capable of reason and reflection. The very existence of this planet has caused heated arguments among philosophers and clerics of all stripes, as it is clearly either the work of a supreme being or the irrefutable evidence that one cannot ex exist. So they'll pay me some dust. Uh, I will. I will. Gladly refuse. We're getting your homeworld, my friend. We are. <laughs> no question. No question. Huh, where did... Where did you disappear, though? Why that's cheeky? I don't know, maybe they pulled, uh... They might have pulled back. I don't know, why did I send two probes? In the exact same direction. Okay, let's move you back to Ducey. Or no, rather. Let's chill here for a round. Um... For a turn, rather. Okay, I'll build one of these. Then I'll... Okay, let's build the, produ the predictive logistics first. And we shall see afterwards. Yes, yes. We gained a handful of pops. We colonized Alkali Giant Pot. 
on Jovanus. Okay. I think it's time to uh, redistribute some pops. Uh, which one was it? This one? Can't remember. Okay. <laughs> Great. You have stuff to build. You're going down that particular lane. Everything is so nice, so warm, so fuzzy. A day fuzz fuzz. I won't initiate it just yet. Uh, I'll wait another turn, I think. Because this is uh, where I will leave it off now. Holy hell. Well, the Shargon totally accept, uh, gave the Leapers a truce. Yeah, this is another downside of alliances. You can't really... I mean, the AI will do these things even, even when you're winning. I mean, if uh, you can't aid your AI where they want to with that, you know, little sword or the objective, they'll suffer pressure and then they'll uh, accept the, the truce. Now, what that allows us is to gain that system back through sheer influence. And that's that's actually a godsend, I think. We are researching that. So I'm not going to uh, leave it here. I'll, I'm just curious to see how next turn will pan out. Um, we should be able to take on, on, the, on this fleet, not the other ones though, which means that we will actually move these guys back. Maybe even the other ones. It all depends on how damage is distributed. I'm not sure how that works. But yes. Okay. So let's go with a bit of uh, manpower since the uh, planet's getting quite, uh, quite the attention. Go here. Don't care much about the pirates. Having some more... Some more... Um, hmm... I only have longship energy. Okay. Which is what gives me the balance, I guess. So I'll just... Uh, I'll just create a new fleet from this. And merge the two. Right? Okay. That being said... Uh, yeah. We're going to go with... Um, the Gravitron Surge. Any other planet needing it? Estra needs some carrying after. Yeah, we're losing dust here, but there's not a lot that I can do about it. So, um, hey, magnetic field gen, Nakos and Izar. Ah. Uh. Fertile planet, temperate. Oh, yeah. That's fair. We did the farms. Let's see. <laughs> they colonized my owl. My owl, yeah. If citizens can already travel faster than light, why not news, views, and entertainment? Super light content systems are guaranteed to fill the galaxy's airwaves with the finest opinions and amusements. Yours. We also have Edenization. Which is a planetary spec that grants influence. We're friendly with the sisters. Okay, they're uh, not far from Virgo, actually, which uh, is all right. No dust upkeep on here on hero. Do, 
That could be alright, provided they ever attack us, but I'll go with the transcendental outlook. Hmm. Okay, they uh, diverted towards Mizar. Well, I'll obviously lose this, I think. Uh, we don't have that many shields. Actually, we do, it's just our offensive power is... Well, you know what, we might have a chance. But I will leave this for next time. I'll just quickly pop onto Nikar. So there's no, uh... There's no sign of anything. It's in our thingy. I just can't, um... Uh, can't do anything yet. Maybe the blue bar will start uh, filling up again. Who knows? Okay. This is pretty, this is doing pretty well. We could initiate it. We could totally initiate it. Uh, but we shall leave it for next time. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope I will see you uh, next time when we'll actually take Graphias. Hopefully. Possibly even a car. So, uh, yeah. See you around.